Monkey Dev, what are we gonna do? We're outnumbered! Don't worry, I got a secret weapon. Alright, today I got a bit of a weird video for you guys. We're gonna be coding bombs into Roblox. How did I think of this video idea? I don't even know, but today we're gonna be doing it. Before we get into the video, we have a sponsor. Thank you, Bismarck Industries, for sponsoring today's video. They are a great website that sells assets, packs, and maps for your Roblox games. Right now, they mainly specialize in military assets and weapon packs, but they're looking to expand into other genres like horror. Everything on their website is completely affordable, and you can make it even more affordable if you use my affiliate link in the description of this video. Thank you, Bismarck Industries, for sponsoring today's video, and let's get on with it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is obviously a bomb mesh so let's go ahead and look it up bomb this one should be good we're gonna have to we're gonna take everything out of it and reprogram it but this should be a good mesh to use we have a bunch of different scripts in here mouse icon plant bomb bomb we're gonna delete all of that we don't need any of it basically what i want this to do is i want it so that when you click while you're holding it it will drop a bomb in the position you're holding it i don't know if you've ever seen those old roblox videos but that's kind of how it looked so that's pretty much how i want it to look and to work in this game when you click on the bomb tool so how i think we're gonna do this i think we're gonna duplicate the handle we're gonna put it in replicated storage we're gonna name this um bomb model and what we'll do is every time you click we will spawn this bomb model in and we will set its position to whatever your tools position is All right, so now when we start clicking the bomb tool, more bombs will get spawned exactly where our tool is, but this isn't what we want. We want these to actually explode, and I think we also want to have it so that there's a cooldown, so you can't just spam click it, you know? So, uh, back to coding. All right, so I added a countdown timer to the bomb, so now as you can see, when it spawns in, there is a timer that counts down from 10 all the way to 0, and my plan is when it hits 0, it's going to explode. I don't know how big the radius of the bomb is going to be, but but uh, we'll figure that out. So I think the bomb is done now. I added a beep sound when the countdown is going and then an actual explosion sound when the bomb explodes. So if we spawn in a couple here, you can uh, hear the sound effects. That might be, uh, that might be too much. Gary, I'm sorry. The second bomb I want to do for today's video is an actual nuke. Uh, yeah, so when you click this button, I want a nuke to drop in from the sky and just destroy the world. So that's what we're going to try to do. First thing we need to add is an actual click detector inside of the button so that you can click the button. Next thing we will do is we will insert a script in it and we will start coding. Before that though, we need to find an actual nuke model. So let's look up nuke model. All right, so this is the one we're going to use mainly because it's just one big mesh, so it's easier to program it to just drop from the sky um, but we're gonna make it pretty big hmm I wonder with what this button doing here is uh, maybe I click it 